Okay, today we're going to set up a client VPN for a Unify Dream Machine device. We're going to integrate that with Microsoft's Radius server using the Network Policy Access Service. First, we're going to go and open up Server Manager. And if it's not already installed, we're going to install the Network Policy Access Services. Go on ahead and click Manage, Add Rules and Features, yada, yada, yada. Go on Next. Uh, more than likely you've done this before, so go through Next. Select your server, Next. Then we're going to go through and select Network Policy and Access Services. You can see here it's already installed on my server, so if it's not installed, install it, reboot, and then you can pick back up. So once that's installed, open up Server Manager and open up the Policy Server service. First, we're going to go over and expand Radius Clients. Right click, we're going to add a new Radius Client. And for that client, we're going to give it a friendly name, something easy to remember. In this case, I'm going to go with UDM. I'm going to put the IP address of the Dream Machine, that's also known as the gateway here, and then I'm going to use, in this case, a pre-shared secret for the Dream Machine and the Radius server to talk with. Once that's done, go ahead and open up Policies. You're going to create a connection request policy. For now, I'm going to just name this as in VPN Requests. The name really doesn't matter here, so go ahead and put that in. You're going to set the type of network access server to unspecified. Just leave that, hit next, add conditions. Now you can use your IP4 address of your gateway or IP6 if that's what you're using. Uh, but here I want to be able to have multiple names. So I'm going to choose client friendly name. That way if I change the IP address later, I, can, I don't have to edit this policy. Authentication, leave as is. The defaults are good there. Next, finish, close. And we're going to go down and create a network policy. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click add new. And this, I'm going to call this VPN users. Type of network still unspecified. For the condition here this time, I'm going to use a user group for Active Directory that I have went ahead and set up ahead of time. You can use whatever you want, but I like to call mine the VPN users group. That way I can add and remove users um, from Active Directory instead of having to come back here every time. I'm going to choose Access Granted. And for each types, we're going to leave blank. Everything else default is fine. We're going to use unencrypted authentication. Now that does not mean that your password will be sent clear text. That just means that the initial communication is going to be is going to be clear, but your password is sent over encrypted. Then we're going to move that connection request, that policy, we're going to move that to the top and make sure that it is enabled. That's it on the server side. From there, you're going to add your network connection into the Dream Machine. So let's get started there. We're first, we're going to go into Profiles, under Radius, then we're going to create a new Radius Profile. I'm just going to call this the name of the actual server. In this case, the server was named Server01. It's okay, it's just for demo purposes. And that server resides at dot .2 on this particular subnet. I'm going to enter the pre-shared secret that I did before. Notice this will not be the same secret as your client VPN secret. So once you're done with that, save it, go to networks. We're going to create a new network. We're going to give it a quick name. In this case, I'm going to call it the client VPN. And I'm going to set remote user VPN. I'm going to put in a pre-shared key. Again, this is different than the first key that you use. This is what clients will actually use. And then I'm going to provide them a subnet that I make up in this case 192.168.5.1 which will be the gateway slash 24 subnet and then I'm also going to set the name servers to be the active directory or DNS server on the corporate network radius profile I'm going to set to server 01 I'm going to require MSChap v2 then I'm going to hit save from there I'm just kind of watching to make sure 
that the Dream Machine does provision. And then once you've added your network connection to your Windows computer, you can go ahead and test and make sure that it connects. After it says connected successfully, you can uh, go ahead and run a ping test. It'll work all day long. I do want to remind everyone that you cannot connect to a VPN while you're inside the corporate network. So there are ping responses come back. And we're done. That's it. Thanks, guys.